What's up, y'all? What's going on, man? We here, we live. We here, we live. What's up? Talk to me. Tell me something. <coughs> What's up, man? I thought I had some, uh, I thought I had some water in the car, man, but I ain't got no water in there. Shout out to everybody. Hit that life button. Who is that right there? Brooks World. Brooks World in the building. Brooks World, I see you. Brooks World, I see you, man. Listen, keep fighting, man. Keep fighting, man. Just keep fighting no matter what. Keep fighting no matter what. No matter what. Lose money, win money, break up, divorce, heartbreak, let down, foreclosure, eviction, lost the contract, got fired, no matter what, just keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, man. Hit the like button, man. Hit, hit the like button. Hit the like button, man. Don't stop. Don't stop moving. Don't stop, no matter what. No matter what, it's up and down. Life is up and down, that's what it is. It's up and down. I just came from the barbershop. I just came from the barbershop. I got the fresh, I got the fresh cut. Let me say what's up to my members. AES Corpus, my members in here, in, in here. Uh, Brooks World in here, Juan in here. All my members in here. See the dudes, the dudes that got the green, the dudes that got the green name, they channel members. They support, they support. They support your aunt. What's up, man? I like that song, man. I like that album cover too, man. So listen. It worked out. It didn't work out. Keep moving forward. You got accepted or you got rejected. Keep moving forward. You lost money, you won money. Keep moving forward. You lost 39,000, you lost 39,000. Keep moving forward. You got it. She broke your heart, he broke your heart. Keep moving forward. He told you he loved you, she told you she loved you. Keep moving forward. No matter what, keep moving forward. No matter what. You got fired or you got a new job. Keep moving forward. No matter what. No matter what. See, the, the, the game, the name of the game, the game is a marathon. It ain't no sprint. It ain't no sprint. You put out a new album, 100,000 people buy it, two people buy it, keep moving forward. No, it don't feel good. You thought you was gonna get support from that one. You thought you was gonna get support from the people that, that you know, but they don't support. You're gonna only get support, you're gonna get the most support from strangers, man. That's who's gonna support you the most. People that's unrelated to you are gonna support you the most, man. You understand? Everybody else, nobody else is gonna support. Nobody else is gonna support. Hit that like button, man, hit the button. Go on my website, man, and get a uh, Go on my website and get a shirt, a hat or something, man. I got them new dry fit shirts. Go get them. You know what I'm saying, man? Go through what you got to go through 
and grow through it, man. You understand? You cannot stop under no circumstances. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through some tough times right now, but I've been through this before. I've done this before. I've done tough times before. I've done failure before and survived it. I'm right here in some street. I'm in some street, so cars is coming through, so I gotta keep moving. But one thing I do know, one thing I do know is that I got a reference point. You gotta look back at your reference points, where you was, what you've been through, where you were, the circumstances that you came from, and look at where you at today, right? You might not be, <coughs> you might not be exactly where you wanna be, but you damn sure ain't back there. You are not back there where you was at. You right here, right? And if you stay in the game, you can get to where you wanna go, right? Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing yourself to where she at and where he at. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. We go to World Trade Center right here. I can see the world. I can see the World Trade Center in New York from right here. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Because somebody. Oh, come on, car. Because somebody has material things, right? Fly ride, fly house, huh? Fly clothes, fly jacket, fly jeans, fly sneakers. They just fly, right? Everything they got on, everything they rocking is fly. That don't mean that they got a good life. It don't mean that. 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 Just because they got fly stuff, fly car, money tall, right? That don't mean they happy. It don't mean that. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. It don't mean that. Listen. A person could be got the fly car, fly clothes, fly jewelry, fly watch, fly crib, but could just got could have just gotten notified that they have terminal cancer. Check me out. Listen. Listen to me. They can have $12. They can have $12. They can have twelve dollars, fly everything, and just got served with divorce papers and a restraining order, and they ain't seen their daughter. They got two daughters. They ain't seen their two daughters in eight months. And they in a lot of pain. telling you man I'm just telling you man I'm just telling you you ain't got to believe me you ain't got to believe me
Rod D, thank you for that, uh, for your channel membership. NPC, what's up? They can have fly gear, fly ride, fly house, fly crib, fly money, money talk. And you see them at the light. You coming out of the you coming out of the store. You went in and bought you a coffee with a butter roll. And you come out the store and you see them ride by in the fly car with the dope rims, with the beat on. But what you don't know is that that person could have just got told that they got nine months to live. I'm telling you, man. So the thing is, the thing is, and I need to hear myself say this. <coughs> My cold almost gone. I need to hear myself say this. You got to find gratitude in your situation. There's gratitude in your situation. Huh? And you got to believe in yourself enough that you got what it takes to change your situation. You got to believe that you got to change your situation. And it gets rough sometimes, man. I know it do. Trust me, I do. Like, I'm going through a rough time right now in my life, right? But I know and I believe that I can change my situation. And I'm going to. You understand what I'm saying? I come too far to quit. Right? And so did you. To quit now, I will have suffered for nothing, right? If 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 I'm gonna go through all of the pain and the suffering I went through, I might as well get to where I was going. So at least when I get home, I can say, man, it was worth it. I went through this, I went through that. I fell over there, I bumped my head over there. I twisted my ankle right there. I pulled my hamstring right there, but I made it here. And I needed to have all those things needed to happen in order for me to learn, in order for me to know, right? Sometimes you're going to find out things, man, that's going to cause you a lot of pain, right? Who that right there with the super chat joint? Tony Zabroso. Look at my nigga Tony. Peace and positivity to all. Tony, thank you for that super chat. You got your wife. Ladies, you got your man. Ladies, you got your husband. Fellas, you got your wife. And you find out that they don't love you no more. Right? You find this out. You see it with your own eyes. You bust your man with another girl. Fellas, you bust your lady with another dude. Huh? And you find out, and it causes you all types of pain. Right? But you needed to know. You needed to know. You needed to know, and you needed to find out in order for you to come up with another move to come up with another strategy to get you out of that pain. Because sometimes in relationships, we can get addicted to toxic relationships and get addicted to the chaos. We can become codependent and get comfortable with an abusive relationship, not necessarily, not necessarily physically abusive in some cases that happens 
but mentally abusive, spiritually abusive. And we could begin to think that this is what we deserve. Right? But when you find out and when you learn, they've been showing you. They've been showing you they didn't love you. But for whatever reason, I'm going to tell y'all a story. For whatever reason, you ain't been able to shake them. You ain't been able to cut her off. You love her so much. You love her dirty drawers. You love her dirty drawers. She's no good for you. She disrespects you. She talks to you crazy. She just mistreats you. And you know this ain't the way it's supposed to be. But you just so addicted to her and addicted to that pain, you stay there until the one day you find out she does that one thing that's enough to say, ah, to push you over the edge and you don't want nothing else to do with her. Ladies, the same thing. Homeboy don't love you no more. Homeboy been stopped loving you. He probably never loved you at all in the first place. But you kind of got in and said, well, I'm going to change my man. I'm going to change my man. I'm going to throw this pussy on him and I'm going to change that nigga. He never changed and he never grew to love you. And you just keep volunteering for pain until that one day he do that one thing that's enough for you to say, ah, I waved the white flag. I had enough. Stephen Kucherovsky, Kucherovsky, thank you for your membership, Stephen. tell y'all a story man can y'all see me clear is the video clear is it clear is it clear is it clear yes sir somebody say yes sir MG, Phil McGroin said, Crystal, Crystal, that's what they said on that movie with Jack Nicholson. What was the name of that movie with Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson? Said, is that clear? Said, Crystal. That's what they said on that movie with Jack Nicholson. What was the name of that movie? What's the name of that movie? That's the link. If you want to join the channel membership and get your green name, click on that link, man. Good, a few good men, a few good men, a few good men. All right, so look, I'm gonna tell y'all this story. I was in love with this girl, right? I was in love with this woman. She was married. She was married. Me and her was messing around. She was married. I was about 27. 28. 20, 97, 28. I was about 28. I was about 28, I was about 20. Y'all gotta hit that life button, man. Hit that life button. You can see all the old interviews right here, man. Just subscribe right here. Me and this girl, me and this girl, we work together on the same job. We work together on the same job. And she was bad. She was pretty. She was fine. She was married. <coughs> Y'all see, I ain't coughing as much as I used to because I'm getting better. And at this time, I didn't have no lady. I didn't have no lady. I was just messing around with a bunch of girls. So 
I started messing with her. And see, one thing you don't do, you don't play where you get your pay. You don't play where you get your pay. Don't play. Don't play where you get your pay. And you don't stick your pen in company ink. Don't mess around with no honey on your job. And ladies, don't mess around with no dude on your job. Don't do that. Because your job is where you take care of yourself. That's how you sustain yourself. But I'm young, I'm dumb, you know, dick hard as a rock. I ain't trying to hear nothing. She wanna give me some, I'm gonna get it. That's where I was at. That's where I was at. So, at first, at first, I'm just hitting it. Pow, pow. I'm just hitting it. Doing the raccoon. I'm doing the raccoon. I'm doing the raccoon. I'm doing the I'm doing the raccoon. That's all I'm doing. I'm doing the raccoon. But then I fell in love with her. Right? I'm doing the raccoon. I'm doing the raccoon. Here come the five volt. Here come the five volt. Police coming, y'all. So, hey, Brooks World, I'm doing the raccoon. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm telling. All I want to do is do the raccoon, baby. But I fall in love with her. Make a mistake. Shoe short in the door. Doof. She's married. And now she fell in love with me too now. She fell in love with me too now. Howard Cooper, what's up? Thank you for your channel membership. We both fall in love. I think we messed around for like three years. And she would come and stay by my crib the whole weekend. Word is born. Word is born. She would come by my crib Spend the night and stay the whole weekend. Go home Sunday. So I'm looking at that. I'm saying like, what there? How married could she be? I need y'all to share this video. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. I need to get on 60 likes. Put it on 60. We have 49. police stopped down there he's looking back down here he probably wondering like what i'm doing <coughs> so i knew she wasn't happy she couldn't have been happy because she told me she told me she was like yo sean i i never wanted to get married i never loved him but he had invested so much money in the wedding and the reception my family had invested so much money in the wedding and reception that I didn't have the courage to back out. But I never wanted to marry him. I never loved him, but I married him anyway. So I was like, all right. So when she would go home, we would spend the whole weekend together doing the raccoon, going out to eat, all in New York. We all over, we all over, chilling like Matt Dillon, ain't robbing, ain't stealing. But when she would go home, when she would go home Sunday night, at first, when I'm just doing the raccoon, it didn't bother me. All right, go, bye, peace. But when I started caring and when I fell in love with her, then it started to bother me.
It started to impact me. It started to bother me. It started to bother me. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I ain't like it. Yes, I did. Nah, I ain't like it. No, I didn't. I ain't like it. Because I was in love. You understand? And I didn't want her to go. I want her to stay with me. Yes, I did. I want her to stay there with me. I ain't want her to go home. I ain't want her to go to her husband. I want her to stay with me. And it used to bother me, man. I used to be thinking like, damn, is he hitting it too? He doing the raccoon? They doing the raccoon too? He doing the raccoon better than me? You know what I'm <coughs> And it used to torment my soul. And it used to wreck my mind. It was a cold-blooded distraction. And we worked together. And I had to see it at work on Monday. Ah. You know what I was? You know what I was when I was doing that? Young and dumb. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Young and dumb. Young and dumb. And, uh, this, I stayed in this situation. Right? That shit used to cause me so much pain. You know. And you know. Oh man, it used to cause me so much pain. And I couldn't leave. I had become addicted. I had become addicted to the uncertainty to the pain to the mental confusion right to the drama to the suspense to the sneaking to the sneaking i had become addicted to an unhealthy situation right i had become addicted to a situation that didn't benefit me no more Word is born, I did. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. <coughs> and I bought the girl a car. Right? I took my money and bought her a car. And she gave me her car. This is how dumb I was or how much in love I was, or how blind I was, how foolish I was, how dumb I was. I bought her car, newer, and I took her used car. And the car I bought her was better than the one she gave me. I did that. I did that. I did that. Yes, I did. I did that. And I was so caught up because I never wanted her to leave me. I'm 28 years old. I'm 28, 29, 27, somewhere in there. This is the second time I had my heart broke. I had my heart broke when I was 21, around 1990. And then about seven to eight years later, this was my second one. Crushed me. Tore my heart to pieces. I'm so caught up. When she gave me her car, I didn't even get the title in my name because I didn't want to say something or cause an argument that might make her say, ah, oh, nigga, fuck you, I'm leaving. Because I was scared for her to leave, right? Because I was in love and addicted to a horrible situation and I wanted her to stay. So the car I bought her was in her name, the insurance was in her name, and in the car she gave me, the car was in her name and the insurance was in her name. How dumb is that? How dumb is that? How dumb is that? So. So. <coughs> 
So, my man riding the wheelie on a motorcycle. So, so look, so I couldn't let this girl go for nothing in the world, man. And I believe toward the end, not only was she cheating on her husband with me, I believe she was cheating on me and her husband with another dude or maybe two more. I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm telling you, this is my life. This is my real life. This is my real life. But I couldn't let her go. I love the dirty draws, man. But let me tell you what happened. No matter how I tried to let her go, I'd get in the mirror, bathroom mirror, and say, yo, I'm letting this bitch go, man. I'm got to let her go, man. Man, I'm letting this go, man. I'm done, man. Damn, man, I'm through, man. I'm finished, man. Every time we argue, man, I'm finished, man. I'm done, man. I don't want nothing to do. I, I quit, man. I'm a, man, I'm, I'm done, man. I must go see some other honeys. But I could never do it. I was just talking. And then I got mad with, I used to get mad with me because I couldn't leave her alone. I, I used to get mad with me that I was so in love with I couldn't leave her alone. And let me tell you what happened. I crashed the car, the car that I, the car that I, that she gave me, I crashed it. And like I say, the title and insurance was still in her name. And I called her and I said, yo, I crashed the car. I need you to run it through your insurance. I'm going to pay the deductible. And you don't got to come out of pocket for nothing. And after I get the car fixed, you can cancel the insurance and then I'll get it insured in my name. And you know what she told me? She said, nope, I ain't doing it. I said, yo, who that right there? Goddamn people's progression. Nigerian nigga out of California. Pat, thank you for that super chat. I said, yo, I crashed the car. I need the car to get to work. I need the car to get around to continue on with my life. I bought you a car. Better than the one you gave me. Newer. Worth more money. Just run the, run the car, run the accident through your insurance. I'm going to pay the deductible. Right? You ain't got to come out of pocket for nothing. And as soon as they fix it, you could drop the insurance and I'll get the car insured and registered in my name. She said, nah. And yo, when she told me that, I was on the phone and shit. I was like, what'd you say? What'd you say? You ain't going to do it. Yo, just do it. I'm going to pay everything and then we're going to drop. She's like, no. Click. And that right there was what I needed to see. Because when she said no, and I asked her two, three more times, and she was adamant about no. For some reason, all the love, all the attraction, all the lust, all the addiction, everything that I felt that wouldn't allow me to leave, I didn't feel for her no more. And I was able, when I hung that phone up, I never called her back no more after that. So I say all this to say that sometimes we need to see things that are very, very painful. And that caused me a lot of pain. Very, very painful in order to let some people go. I'm telling you, man, that's what happened to me. This is my life. This is my real life. I don't goddamn lie to y'all. What I got to lie to y'all for? I ain't got to lie to y'all.
This is my real life. <coughs> so you may be going through something right now with your man to the, all my lady subscribers and fellas you may be going through something with your lady and you just can't seem to let them go and you know you getting the short end of the stick you know you're not being treated right you know you being disrespected you know she messing around on you ladies you know he messing around on you you done seen him with other women you done busted him on the phone fellas you done saw text messages you done seen everything and you just still can't seem to let them go they talk to you crazy they talk disrespectfully to you and you still love them but let me tell you this one day and i don't know when that day gonna be they gonna do something they gonna do something that's gonna snap the spell it's gonna break you out of your spell it's going to break you out of your spell. It's going to break you out of your spell. And all of the pain that I went through with that woman, I learned from. I learned. And I never got my heart broken no more after that. I never got my heart broken no more after that. I never, what did I ever do? And there's nothing wrong with getting your heart broken, ladies. There's nothing wrong with getting your heart broken, fellas. It's a part of the game. If you're going to take the risk of loving somebody, that comes with that. But, you know, I made, I made better choices as a result of that situation. I made better choices going forward. And... Um, you know, I learned. And, 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 and that's what has to happen sometimes, man. That's what has to happen sometimes, man. Shout out to the 92 people in the room. You know? And I spoke to her probably about a year or so ago after having not speaking to her in maybe 20 years or more. Yeah. And, you know, we had a good conversation. We had a good conversation. She bought some merch off my site and we talked on the phone and laughed and she's gotten remarried and all of that. And, you know, don't be ashamed of your failures, man. Don't be ashamed of the mistakes that you make. They're all learning experiences, man. You know what I'm saying? B Productions. Bruce, what up, man? Thank you for that super chat. You know, you, 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 no, no, no woman in this world can say she ain't never been dogged out by no man. No woman can say that. And can't no man say he ain't never had no woman that dragged him, that broke his heart, broke him down, broke him down, making him do things he never did before. Let me tell you something, man, even the coldest pimp, even the coldest pimp got one hole, he don't even let her go outside, he's so in love with her. So don't, don't all that, all that fly barbershop talk, all that barbecue talk, and all that nail salon and beauty salon talk, hair salon, all that fly talk and the rap records and all that, that shit, that be, that be talk, man. That be talk. No man, every man, Nobody gets it right every time. You gotta learn. The guy from Macy's, 
the Macy's store in New York, the largest department store in the world on 34th Street, between 34th and 35th. It's a block long on long 6th Avenue, 34th Street, <coughs> all the way up to um, <coughs> 6th Avenue and 7th Avenue. It's a block long and a block wide. That man tried to get that store off the ground. He failed seven times. He went bankrupt seven times. He went bankrupt seven times, lost everything seven times. It worked on the eighth try. And he never looked back. Never looked back. Never looked back. You know, so, so, you know, fuck is that? Y'all heard that? What the hell going on down there? It's getting dark out here too, man. Y'all gotta watch my back now. I get that girl, I see my baby back there, she watch my back. Don't, you know, if you are not failing at something, you are not trying nothing. If you are not failing at something, you are not trying anything new. You're not expanding your horizons. You're not trying anything new. You're playing it safe, and that's cool. If that's what you want, then that's what you do. But then you can't play it safe and expect extraordinary results. If you want extraordinary results, which is what I want, you got to take risks and you got to take chances, and you're going to fail and you're going to lose sometimes. But... You got to learn and, um, you know, go back, regroup, and do it different and try it again. That's what you got to do. What is life, what is life worth living if you're not striving to do anything of significance? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Keep moving forward. I want to thank everybody. C nice, you saying with all many there. I need y'all to go on my girl C Mitchell on her Instagram. Follow her on her Instagram. I am C Mitchell. I A M C E E M I T C H E L L on Instagram and support her platform. Calculated risk, not prison risk. Don't take no. Don't take no prison chances. I'm not taking no prison chances. I ain't doing nothing illegal. I'm not cheating. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I'm not doing nothing illegal, man. I'm living the right way. I'm doing it the right, look at this car right here. Eric Brown, what up? Thank you for your channel membership, Eric. So yeah, man, that's all I wanted to say to y'all. I'm getting ready to get up out of here and uh, I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. I wanna thank my man Pat for the super chat, B Productions for the super chat, and who gave me the first one? Somebody gave me the first one. Who gave me the first one? Tony Sabroso. Shout out to Tony Sabroso. Yeah. I gotta go home, take a shower, man. I worked out, went to the barbershop, got a fresh cut. Y'all see my girl right there? Look at my girl right there. Look at my girl right there. Look at that right there. Check it out, y'all. Look at these snakes right here. Look at the snake. Snakes right there. She got a bloody nose. Look at her nose. She got a bloody nose. All right, y'all. Let me get up out of here. Sean G. Peace. Marvin Fisher.
Marvin, thank you for that super chat, man. Y'all want to ride with me? Let me see if I can ride with y'all. Y'all want to ride in the car with me? Come on. Shout out to my nigga Marvin. Marvin Fisher. All right, so listen. This is what we're going to do. My background, my graffiti better than your graffiti, man. All right, so listen. This is to all the fellas. If you never had your heart broken ever in your life, put a number two in the comment section. If you have had your heart broken, put a number eight in the comment section. Watch this. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Every day I'm waking up, I'm smiling. And even when I'm frustrated, I'm still smiling. For the simple hey, fact, I waited a long eight. time for this. Every move that I make, every step that I take, it's a power move, and that's real. Making power moves out here, making it happen. Living out dreams is more than just rapping. All you gotta do is believe and visualize. Put your thoughts and action things will materialize. Making power moves out here, making it happen. Let me see. Eight. Look at all the eights. Look at all the eights. Eight. Eight. Jacoby, Quick Pump, C Nice, Don Bird, Marvin Fisher, eight, Imp Mom's lit, loyal servant, eight, Guns, eight, Julio Don, yeah, <coughs> Brooks World, eight, woke up, the life animal in me, yeah. Listen, man, any nigga, any nigga that say he ain't never had his heart broke, that nigga lying, man. That's fake. You know, Alex, I see you. Um, you know, man loves woman, man. It's all right, Julio Don. It's a, it, it, you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. Man loves woman and woman loves man. And that's the way that it go. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that it go. Yep. Yeah, I know it was. I know it was. <clears throat> I know it was. Living out dreams is more than just rapping. All you gotta do is believe and visualize. Put the thoughts and next and things will materialize. I travel with the world. I've been around the planet. Seen a lot of things, different cultural habits. A lot of meat, grease, beautiful smile of faces. Embrace me with all right, y'all, let me get up out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.